Hi everyone, it's Sam from 20 Telly, and today I'm going to show you how to create Core Flow Control on FreePBX version 16. I'm using the official FreePBX distro with the most up to date system and stable modules as of the 16th of September 2023. So, the first thing we need to do is log in by clicking on the FreePBX administration icon and filling in the administrator username and password. When you log in, you'll be presented with the dashboard page. We're going to go up to Applications and down to Cool Flow Control. So Cool Flow Control lets you manually toggle where calls are sent. Think of this feature as an on and off switch. When on, callers will be sent to one destination and when off, callers will be sent to a different destination. This is a really good feature if your business does not keep to regular hours and set time conditions that have automatic toggles wouldn't work. So if we go ahead and click on the add button, we're then presented with a page of different options and things to fill in. If you're not too sure what each one means, there's a question mark you can hover over and it will give you a brief description. So the first one we have is call flow toggle feature code index. So you can actually make 100 call flows if you wanted to, as the index goes from zero to 99. So if we click on the drop down, you can see here you've got zero all the way through to 99. This is going to be our first one. So we're going to leave this as zero. The star command for call flow is star to eight. So for this particular one, we would dial star to eight zero. If we go down to description, I'm just going to name this day slash night. So we would have day for our normal flow and night for our override. So if we go down to current mode, we can see at the moment that nothing is selected. I'm going to click normal to begin with. And then you can see we've got green BLF off and override red BLF on. So if you have a phone provisioned on the system, and a BLF configured for this call flow, then on your phone in normal mode, it would be green and then in override mode, it would be red. So if we go down to recording for normal mode and recording for override mode, they're currently set to default. So the default for normal mode would be feature code deactivated and for override, it would say feature code activated. You can record your own if you want to in system recordings. And then on the drop down here, you can select it. But I'm going to leave both as default for now. So we'll go down to optional password. So do you want to input a password to be able to toggle on and off your call flow? This is really good if you're in an office environment and you have cleaners come in in the evening cleaning the phones, accidentally toggle that on and off. If you put in that password, you can prevent this from happening. So I think I'm just going to leave this blank for now. So we'll then go down to normal flow. Where do you want to send your customers in a normal situation? So for example, in working hours, if you click on the drop down, lots of different options to choose from. I'm going to go down and send mine to my time condition in working hours test. And then override flow, where do you want to send them outside of these hours? So click on the drop down. I'm going to send mine to an announcement for our opening times. So I think that's everything on this page. All that's left to do now is click submit. So as you can see, we've got our feature code start to eight zero description day night, and it's currently in state day. I'm now going to add this to our current setup. So if we go to connectivity and down to inbound routes, you can see here that we've got our current destination is our time condition in working hours test. So we're going to change this. So set destination is currently set to our time condition in working hours test. If we change this to call flow control day night, and then our call flow control will then go to the time condition in working hours test in a normal flow situation. So all that's left to do now is click submit. So as you can see, we've now created our call flow control and added it to our existing setup and to apply all changes, Press the apply config button in the top right hand corner. Wow. 
So that's everything we're going to cover today. If you found it useful, please like, comment, share. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.